Marvin, a frustrating afternoon, two goals ahead, didn't manage to see it out. Previous games we've given teams a goal of a start and clawed it back. Today we got ourselves in front and gave it away. Yeah, I said obviously being two goals in front we should win the game. And we should, you know, see it out. But you know, I think the two goals are avoidable. Um, and that's that's the thing that hurts us the most. Because, you know, we can avoid conceding goals like that. You know, if someone hits a twenty five yard yard into the top corner then you accept that. But they're two avoidable goals, so yeah, it's a, it's a disappointing. Frustrating though from the point of view being two nothing up. You say it's frustrating, but Motherwell are a decent side. It looked a right good game out there. It was a real good battle. There was a lot of meaty challenges going on in the middle of the park. An enjoyable game to play in. It would have been enjoyable if we won. Uh, you know, obviously we've drawn the game, so from that point of view it hasn't been too enjoyable. And, you know, no disrespect to them, they are a decent team, but we're tuning up, you know, with however long to go. So we, should, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't be drawing games like that. And as I said, that's no disrespect to them because they are a very good team. But we're a good team also, and we shouldn't be tuning up and you know, conceding two goals like, in the manner that we did. 2-0 was that funny scoreline. If they get the next goal, it's back in the melting pot. If we got it and go 3-0, the game's probably finished. But you know, the frustration will be that at the moment we're starting to score a lot of goals, but we're conceding goals that we probably shouldn't be. Yeah, and you know, as I said, 2-0 up doesn't, doesn't matter. You know, As you said, it's not a sticky position to be in. It's a position that I'll take being in every game. So, you know, at 2-0 up, it's, it's, it's not a sticky position. We should see the game out. We should win it at 2-1. We should still win it. We're a goal ahead. And as I said, we're a good side and we shouldn't be conceding goals in the moment that we have today. So, you know, it's, it's just frustrating, highly frustrating. That's three draws in a row now. Because we're not losing games, but you, know, you look at the last three games, Dundee, St Johnston and Motherwell, is the thought that we probably should have won all three of those games? Yeah, you know, there's, there's a feeling that we should have won, but we haven't. You know, and, and that's the reality of things. We've drawn all three and... You know, we have to put that right, hopefully, you know, the next game away at uh, Watts County is a difficult game, but we need to go there and, and get a win because, as you said, we have deserved probably to win, win the games, but we haven't. Um, you know, we've collected three points instead of you know, nine, so it's a, it's a frustrating time. That said, it is a quite a, a big step up from the Championship to be playing against the quality of teams that we're playing now. We're certainly not disgracing ourselves, but I guess, you know, we're, we're learning a little bit ourselves about what it's like to play now in the top division. Yeah, yeah, but you know they all sound like excuses. You know we're good players as well. We've got we've got good players here. We brought in good players. So yes, it's a step up. But you know we stepped our game up, and we should step our game up. And we brought in players of a higher quality than we had. You know in the championship. So you know, there's no excuses out here. It's, it's not acceptable to throw away a two-goal lead in the manner that we did. As is the case, the games come thick and fast at this time of the season. We move on quickly to Tuesday night, Livingston in the Betfred Cup. An opportunity to get into another semi-final at the National Stadium. I'm sure that's one that the boys will be up for. They'll want to get back there. We enjoy playing at that ground. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's a, it's a game that we should be winning. But you know, I think the disappointment of today will probably hang over us tomorrow. I'm in the training, and obviously Monday we have to look forward to the, the Livingston game. And you know, it's a quarter-final, like you said, it's a huge game. And you know, here under the lights, and hopefully we can give a good performance to the fans and you know, take us through to Hamden. How do the guys pick themselves up from a disappointment like today? What's the, the sort of routine from here until Tuesday? <laughs> I wish I knew. You know, I'd probably be a top quality manager if I could pick, pick players up as quickly as possible. So, you know, it's a difficult. I suppose everyone deals with it differently. You know, and some boys will, will be hurting a lot longer than others. And you know, that's not because they don't care. It's just just the way people are. You know, as human beings. So, you know, I think you have to just give it you know, 24 to 48 hours to try and get over it. And like you said, there's a game coming very quickly, so we need to get our minds on that game. But as I said, tomorrow will be a be a, a day when I think we'll reflect on you know what went wrong today. Cheers.